welcome to day three, three of Gamescom 2019. So yesterday I did lots of stuff that was under embargo, so you didn't see it, but I'll be writing about it very soon. And today, I'm just gonna play all the games. That's what we're doing today. Just a quick heads up, of course, don't forget that my trip was sponsored by Logitech G, so thank you very much to them for getting us here so I can show you all this stuff. Today, I've got games that I wanted to play that I've scheduled specific appointments for, so I'm gonna try to get to everyone, but basically we're doing Nintendo, we're doing 2K, uh, we're doing Ubisoft, EA, there's quite a few, and I'm gonna try and show you as much as I possibly can. If I can't show you, I'll write about it. First up though, Nintendo! Let's go check it out. Playing Pokemon right now, so this is Sword and Shield. I can only show you like little bits and pieces, but finally get to get hands on with the brand new game.
Guys, we hardly saw any of that because I'm horrible at it, which means we're obviously going to stream it when it comes out. <laughs> Are amazing. You saw there, I got to show you. We saw the switch lights as well, which looks like fun. So that's everything we got to see in Nintendo. Logitech G, he does all their sound with blue marks, and he happens to be a Blizzard fan, so he told us about these Blizzard mystery boxes that are being sold in the merch hall. They're $30, and they're just full of stuff, plushies, Funko Pops, but also like collector's edition limited release stuff, and he got a card that's worth like $600 in one of his uh, and he bought like three of them and he said he had all this limited edition stuff so I should be playing games for you and I, I did mention that I was um, I mentioned two um, publishers who I was uh, supposed to go to to play games I'm skipping out on that to go to the merch hall to buy blizzard mystery boxes I'm all about that that serious content life it's cool hello do you have mystery boxes? Yes. Yeah. Mystery boxes! How many are we getting? I've got the cheap yeah. Mystery boxes! Because I spent way too much money, I now get to play and hopefully get some plushies. I got a plushie! I got an actual plushie! And now we're going again. Which I shouldn't be doing like this, because it's not working. <laughs> no. We went big, but we didn't get it. But we got this little guy instead. Yay! I've literally just spent an hour and a half in queues, buying mystery boxes and waiting to get baby plushies instead of exploring Gamescom. <laughs> Completely freaking worth it. So I've got you at 2 k I'm going to be playing some Borderlands 3. But I'm also going to try my hand at NBA, which I've never ever played before. Which is going to be super, super embarrassing. The only thing is, this is one of those games that I can't actually show you. I can only sort of chat a little bit about it after we're done. And the same goes for Borderlands, unfortunately. So I'll definitely do a write-up. I kind of wanted to play this because I know a lot of you have asked me about it. But let's just hope I don't suck. Okay friends, we're here. I'm gonna play Borderlands 3 and I can't show you anything. I can show you a picture of the screen, which I'll do, but that's it. I, I'm kind of sorry, but I'm also too excited to play, so let's do this. We just played 
well I played Borderlands 3 and I showed you a picture of the screen so I really hope you enjoyed that <laughs> I enjoyed it totally. dynamic <laughs> it was tons of fun and now I get to interview you hey I'm Scott Kester I'm the art director on Borderlands 3 and uh, I've been with the franchise since the first game so I uh I was the main like kind of visual character designer for Borderlands 1 and 2, uh, ball hunters and enemies and NPCs and stuff, and now I'm just kind of calling, I guess, all the visual shots. You're completely in charge, <laughs> he's the boss. For better or for worse. So. <laughs> Someone who's never played any Borderlands game at uh -huh. all. Yeah. If you had to describe it in sort of a sentence, specifically I think that the art style is the best way, how, how would you describe it? Are, are you wanted me to describe the art style? Or the, the art style of the game, I think. The art style is like a moving graphic novel. It's kind of a like a combination. I mean, it's all hand inked, so like there, it's just like it's really like a love letter to comic books, but then movie, I guess. I think that's actually a really good yeah. explanation. Then yeah. final question: the two Calypso twins. Who is who is your favorite of the two, and why? Troy. Why? Because I gave him a big Buster sword <laughs> <laughs> and a big robot arm. I'm just a bit of sucker for that. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. The big robot. <laughs> Robot arm and big sword. That's yeah, why yeah. it's your favorite. I mean, I have a full interview with Scott over on Rebel Esports, so I'll drop a link in the description below. And I'm just going to tell you later about how I interviewed someone, then you can get to see it. I wish I could show you how epic this particular setup is, uh, but unfortunately we've all huddled in the corner so that the TV interviews can be done. So I'll post some pictures over on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com for such technical today, so you can check this out, but it's, it's a really cool setup and I'm excited to take a look at Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077 and I got to see someone play it. One of the devs actually sat and played it for an hour, walked us through some stuff, got to see all the things that they included. It looks amazing, it really does. I'm always nervous about these things when I see games like this because you watch them in developers and they look amazing and you don't know, but from what these guys are saying and from what I saw, it's gonna be really incredible. There's no loading screens. There's no fast tracking, so once you're in the game, nothing stops you, you just keep going, which is really cool. The story looks amazing, a lot of the mechanics are incredible. The entire game will be crafted by your cyberpunk, so what you choose, the life, you, you choose their backstory, you choose how they grow up, you choose how they interact with the world, you choose the different skills, like, and everything that you choose will determine your journey through this, which is really cool. It looks sick. I wish I could show you, like I'm just disappointed that I that I couldn't share what I just experienced because it does look sick, it looks awesome. I'm always scared though to say that because like I said I only saw an hour, it's still a work in progress, it's still maybe like half a year before it comes out, so yeah, more than half a year. Mine is like 200 days. Next year this stuff. Uh, it's cool. It was a cool way to end my Gamescom experience. So thank you to Logitech G for making this all possible. I'm sorry that a lot of the stuff I saw this year was embargoed and I couldn't share it with you. But I hope you've had fun with me anyway. I want Cyberpunk now. 